welcome to the next video in Solutions in Six series. I'm super excited to present, bring today a man of many talents, our ransomware guru, virtualization guru, flashblade guru, and even travel guru, Andrew Miller. Hey Andrew, did you hear that Pure is number one VWALS platform? It's it's funny you mentioned that, and, and man, I. I think I need to get you to be my hype man or do my introductions all the time. You know, I really appreciate it. But yes, I did actually hear. Uh, actually, there was this quote from Lee Caswell. I think we might have been talking about it right before we got started about how Pure is the number one platform for, for VVols. And Lee knows what he's talking about since he's the VP of marketing cloud f platform BU at VMware. Now, if you're listening in, you're probably thinking and wondering maybe two things. One, uh, why should I care about VVols? And then two, of course, well, why is Pure so great at VVOL. So I think actually maybe we'll start with the first one. Why should you care about VVOLs? If we think about this over, the, over time, VMFS has gotten us a long way and it's great, but there's been challenges. You know, so as, as we grow, many virtual machines sharing the same SLA, there's performance impact. You see noisy neighbor scenarios, troubleshooting performance and forecasting growth, especially at scale, gets challenging. I'll get out of the way of the fourth point here. You know, So actually, as SLAs shift underneath the covers from an infrastructure standpoint, that may or may not be visible to the virtual machine admin. Then, you know, we go even further. So let's think about it as we scale even further. A single point of policy management is critical to manageability. And when you go from 100 to thousands of VMs, you know, sometimes we're admins. We do things. We delete the wrong piece. And SCSI rescans. We don't love those, but we know that we've got to wait for them to, re re to finish up. And of course, last but not least here. Virtual to physical, physical to virtual, on-prem to cloud. Flexibility there can be challenging. No, the core of it really is this indirect VM to storage mapping or kind of that, that layer of VMFS in between. So what if we could actually have a direct VM to storage mapping? That is the promise of VVOLs. Perfect. That is, I mean, that is awesome. You succinctly said there why we need VWALS. Now, how about why VWALS with Pure? Can you talk about that, Andrew? Happy to. We, we've actually even got top three reasons. And we'll throw some bonus items in along the way. So reason number one is you can set this up in minutes. You know, like it says there, and I'll get it out of the way again. You can actually set this up within five minutes. Very fast to set up. So it actually makes it a lot easier to actually adopt without huge professional services engagements and all this architectural complexity, all these things that you need to do from there, you know, reason number two is that you get this effortless design. So high availability, you have the VASA provider that you need to actually be able to service this. We, we host that on the array in a stateless way, so it's easy to upgrade and reconfigure, but also it's highly available. You don't have to worry about it going offline since we hosted on the array. This actually matches up in some ways to our architecture where we have a single global queue on pure flash array. So you can have a single endpoint from a VVOL standpoint. Actually makes the design a lot simpler. I don't have all these different endpoints that I have to think about. Reason number three, when we're thinking about moving in here, uh, moving so you can actually do VMFS to VVOL migrations in minutes. It's sometimes even faster. This is actually due to our really strong support from a VAAI standpoint. If you actually move, you may already know this, you move a virtual machine between uh, data stores on Pure, it's just a metadata operation, then we finish it immediately. It doesn't matter if it's you know 20 gig or 200 gig. Same process when you go from a VMFS data store to move to VVOLs, you migrate from the data store to the endpoint, the same immediate, it's actually faster than minutes in some cases, right kind of thing. So when we look at that, what that actually wraps into is some really cool capabilities that are very easy to take advantage of. Hey, so I mean, this is all great. Now, I mean, you, you talked about all of these. Do we want to now highlight about, is it VWALS or nothing? Like, I mean, can we not have VMFS with VWALS? And what about like going deeper into Pure? I hear Pure is really, really cool. Although I work for Pure. Can you go into that too? Of course, absolutely. So it is definitely not, there, we try and do a little bit of a have your cake and eat it too here. 
some cases we want to target vvol capabilities at certain applications especially where that granularity matters there's certain uh, capabilities that expose on pure that are even more impactful for mission critical virtual machines kind of thing but you can totally live in a coexisting environment of general purpose vms and often we recommend this on vmfs and you know more mission critical or where the benefits of pure are even more powerful of course, we've kind of wandered around that. If you're thinking like there's all these, there's got to be a lot of cool pure VMware stuff. There is. There's so much integration there. It's not even funny. I think we go over that in some of the other videos on this series. We think about some of the capabilities about the maturity of snapshots on flash array as opposed to VMware snapshots and what that means, the flexibility and granularity of replication. We get even more granular from a troubleshooting and compliance perspective what pure does from a deletion standpoint you know whenever you delete something on a pure array it stays around for 24 hours and kind of a recycle bin uh, that's a little bit of an admin get out of jail free card that plies up not just at a pure volume level but now to a vmdk level and then of course we mentioned that per vm portability whether well, that's going physical to virtual virtual to physical on-prem or cloud so if you want to try this out I think this is where uh, we call it a call to action, something like that, right, Brady? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, just go to purestories.com. There's that big orange icon up top. Uh, try now, just click on that. Uh, you, you'll go into flash uh, array related drive, like test drive. And again, if you know a pure SE, just I mean, pick up your phone, call him. They'll be happy to set up a VWALS test drive with you or go deeper into design discussions. And again, if you're, if you're already on VWALS, super awesome. I'm glad you refreshed all your concepts coming all the way to the end of the video. With that, thank you everyone for watching the video. Thank you, Andrew, for coming onto the series and talking about VWALS. I really appreciate it. Love it. Thanks, Brady. Thanks for listening.